watching the CBS 42 Morning News. All right, everyone, let's get a check on your weather as you wake up on your wonderful Sunday morning, last day of the weekend. Michael, how's it going to look? Rounding it out yeah. hot with a beautiful sunrise. Let me show you sun up in two minutes. Live look, camera pointing east. Can you see it kind of? I'm going to point out where it's going to pop its head up right there it comes live right there. All right, the sun is up. Temperatures are in the lower 70s. This is the coolest point of the morning just before sunrise uh, with temperatures in the lower 70s, low to mid 70s. Good morning to you. Jasper 73, 76 right now. Birmingham, Pell City's at 70, 73 in Anison. Storm track radar quiet on this Sunday morning. Let's check out our future cast clouds, radar and temperatures as we head through the morning. Some high thin clouds and temperatures are going to quickly get back into the lower 90s. You factor in the humidity, the low 90s will feel more like the low 100s at times. Okay, between 5 and 6 and into the 8 o'clock hour later on this evening, isolated showers, maybe an isolated storm across northeast central Alabama with some energy coming out of Georgia and Tennessee overnight into tomorrow morning temperatures dip back down into the 70s only to warm quickly back into the lower 90s for the afternoon. Tracking the tropics still watching this area of low pressure. The National Hurricane Center giving this a high chance a 60% chance of tropical formation over the next five days. Uh, currently across the Florida Straits the forecast models the computer forecast models bring this west, northwest, and then now a good uh, variety of these models are hooking this back off to the north, northeast, cutting it across uh, parts of the panhandle of Florida. So will it impact our weather? Too early to tell. We will track it. Uh, we know that the heat is going to impact our weather later on this morning into the afternoon by 11, back into the mid 80s, and then the low 90s by 3. Average high for this time of year is 90. So above the mark, not only today, but back to work, back to school Monday. Here's a look at the upcoming work week and a preview of the upcoming weekend on Saturday. Temperatures, again, running above average, overnight lows in the lower 70s. Download our Storm Track weather app. And thank you to Brenda Wilkes yes. for sharing this beautiful picture from Northeast Coleman County, reported at WIAT.com. Thank you, Brenda. Good. Yeah, love that. Well, your time right now at 619. Do you guys have this question, Michael, as well? Do you have your Halloween costume picked yeah. out yet? I don't yeah, <laughs> neither do I. Well, after the break, we're helping you get in the spooky mood with a preview.